if your Windows Server 2025 or 2022 keeps failing updates and you're seeing error codes, this video is for you. This video will walk you through every step I use to fix this reliably. All right, guys, so the very first thing we're gonna do is open our settings. So I'll do Windows key and I together. And we'll go to Windows Update, which is here at the bottom. So you can see that we actually have updates to run right now. If you're experiencing an error code or a failure message, this is where we would take note of that. Now we can also run this as admin in PowerShell. So we'll go to uh, our Windows PowerShell from the start menu here. And we're gonna type get dash Windows update log. So before we fix anything, we need to know what it is that we're dealing with. The error code is gonna tell us where the problem lies, whether it's missing files, components store corruption, or a blocked payload. So an easy step two is gonna to be to check our system integrity. Let's run the command sfc slash scan now. We can see the scan is starting. It's gonna take a little bit of time, so we'll come back once it's done. All right, so we can see that Windows Resource Protection found corrupt files, but was unable to fix some of them. For online repairs, details are included in the CVS log file located at blank. All right, so the verification is 100% complete. You can see our output here. And the next thing we were gonna run is DISM forward slash online, forward slash cleanup dash image, forward slash check health. And it's telling us that no component store corruption was detected, which is good. The operation completed successfully. So for step three, we're gonna to try to reset the Windows update components. Sometimes the download containers get corrupted or stuck. Renaming them and then restarting update services forces Windows to rebuild those folders and refetch the update payloads. We're gonna start this by stopping the services. We're gonna use the command net stop. We'll start with W U A U S E R V. We'll then do C R Y P T S V C cryptographic services. We have two more. Next one is BITS bits. And we'll do net stop one more time. MSI server. Now once you've done those, we can rename the folders. The command is REN. Our path here will be C. Then we do a colon and a backslash. Windows. Another backslash. Let me make sure it's the C drive really quick. Yeah, so our local disk is C. So we have Windows software distribution is what we want to hit next, which we can see here. Okay, so software distribution. And then re what we're renaming it to comes immediately after that. Software distribution dot old. We'll press enter. All right, guys, so after we renamed that folder, uh, we're going to go ahead and restart the services. So this time we'll do net start, W U A U serve. Okay, that one's already started. C R Y P T S V C once again, net start bits, and net start MSI server. All right, let's move on to step four. Another thing we want to do is ensure the correct update source and network access. So we want to ensure that the server can reach Microsoft Update. If you're using WSUS or offline media, verify the path and source server. On domain join servers, we're gonna run get dash windows update log, and then add that little post there. We'll add this little vertical line and then we'll do select dash string dash pattern 401C. So if the server has no internet or is pointing to a broken WSUS, the updates will fail. So confirm that your update source is valid and reachable. All right, step five is to repair the Windows component store if needed. We have a few commands for that. We'll type DISM slash online slash cleanup dash image forward slash restore health. Restore health fixes deep corruption in the OS store. Uh, we can even use the original installation media as a source if we want to avoid pulling online. All right, guys, so next we want to re-trigger update and confirm. So we could do this in PowerShell, but I'm actually just going to go to Windows settings. It's a little bit easier. So in settings, we'll go to Windows Update. Let's go ahead and install all the updates and then restart. I'll press OK. Now, while this is loading, we wanted to go through a few preventative measures. So 
I would schedule regular component sort checks via DISM monthly. Uh, we want to maintain at least 20 to 3 gigs of free space. Low space is a common issue here. We want to make sure that all of our drivers and firmware are patched, especially storage controllers. And if using WSUS, keep clients and servers synchronized and approvals clean. Preventing future updates is easier than fighting them. So keep your environment clean, drivers up to date, enough free space, and component store healthy. You should be good to go. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. If you have any questions about anything we covered, feel free to drop those in the comments below, and we'll get back with you as soon as we can. If you're interested in purchasing Windows Server, Windows 10, Windows 11, remote desktop licenses, Microsoft Office, or a wide variety of other Microsoft software at a great price, be sure to check out Indigo Software. We'll put links down below. As our channel grows, we're constantly looking for new video topic ideas. If you have any ideas of your own, we'd love to know what those are. Most viewer commented video requests get made into actual videos on our channel. Lastly, a like and subscribe would be greatly appreciated as it helps to support the channel. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you guys next time.